This is a Win News Federal Election Update. I'm Jared Constable with a special Win News Election Day update. Well, the votes have been coming in thick and fast, almost as fast as the pre-election promises that preceded polling day here on the south coast in the marginal seat of Gilmore. The big spends have been on health infrastructure and roads funding for the Princess Highway. According to the polls, the main contenders are Labor's Fiona Phillips up against Coalition stablemates Warren Mundine and the Nationals' Katrina Hodgkinson. Last night in Bomaderry, the Prime Minister said this seat will decide who forms government. It's a seat on a knife's edge that's likely to be decided by the flow of preferences. Labor have done a lot for us in the past where Hawke was concerned and we've got Medicare because of his visions. In the central west seat of Calais, the big question has been will the Nationals' bloodbath of the state election be repeated at a federal level? There's tipped to be a strong swing away from the Nationals, but Andrew G is expected to hold off a challenge from the shooters, fishers and farmers and retain the seat. In the southwest, while Farrah's a safe Liberal seat on paper, some are convinced Kevin Mack will pull off the impossible. The Albury Mayor is running as an independent, hoping to knock the Liberal Susan Lee again. Water management could be the catalyst for a potential abandonment of the Libs. Deputy Prime Minister Michael McCormack is expected to keep his seat of Riverina with just four candidates in the running. The pledges about climate change and the need to address the issue has really impacted on me and has affected how I'll vote. Labor's Dr Andrew Lee is expected to hold the ACT seat of Fenner, as is the Liberal Party's Angus Taylor in Hume. We'll have full coverage of today's election on Sky News on Wind, Channel 83. And for further updates tomorrow, follow us on Facebook.